Hello, my name is Judith Graham. I'm the Ardash Freedom to Speak Up Guardian. In Ardash, supporting Freedom to Speak Up is everybody's business. From the first day at induction, our CEO explains that Freedom to Speak Up processes are for all new staff as well as existing staff and ensures people understand how it links with patient safety and staff wellbeing. Whether the concern is about a staff issue, patient issue or issue about another organisation, we want to listen. To date, we have successfully received over 120 concerns that have been raised in the organisation, which has made our organisation a safer place to receive care and to work. We understand it can be difficult to speak up and sometimes to frame a concern. In order to support making this easier, we have staff from different professions, roles and backgrounds in the Freedom to Speak Up team trained to hear concerns. We believe that the focus upon equality, diversity and inclusion is essential for our strong speak up culture. We have developed staff networks where people with diverse characteristics are provided with safe spaces to talk. We also hold free to speak up sessions specifically focused upon groups, student nurses, AHPs and junior doctors. And we value the insight these provide us. To make it easier to talk, we have introduced a number of different ways which people can speak up directly, confidentially, and also anonymously using our Freedom to Speak Up button on the website. We are proud to have seen an increase in the number of concerns that have been raised through the Freedom to Speak Up team and also through the Trust Incident Reporting team over the past year and this is indicative to us that we are identifying concerns at an earlier point and therefore increasing the safety of the services we provide. We do not exclude any concerns people have. There is never a concern that is too small. We see that learning from concerns and incidents is just as important as reporting the concerns. Each of our care groups have introduced learning sections into their locality meetings and concern, complaint and incident information is provided through these. We gain feedback from all people who have spoken up and we have a positive reporting rate, higher than national average. We offer those who have spoken up to become ICANS. This stands for the Improvement and Cultural Ambassadors Network, where people use their experience to help improve services we provide. We have trained mentors, mediators and coaches willing to support and help find a resolution when concerns are raised. We have an extremely supportive board of directors who actively support free to speak up in all they do. We're extremely proud of what we have achieved, but we are also open to ways in which we can improve. We regularly link with others in the region and national guardians and also work with other providers to enable safety and well-being. We've received really positive feedback about how we share our processes and learning and also support other trusts to develop their Freedom Speak Up approaches.